hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is gloria if you're seeing me for the first time and if you're a returning family member then what's good fam okay so today you guys i'm so excited i can even hardly hide it you guys you guys know you guys know what it is you know who it is you know what's going on okay so you guys today i have with me rosalia yeah! From Namibia, yeah. you guys know <laughs> it's been a while, yeah. It's been a while, and like, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they've missed us, yeah. We do miss even myself, I miss us together Aww. on the video, right? <laughs> Yeah, but it's so good. Yeah. yeah, you guys, just get ready. Today is going to be fire. You already know it's gonna be lit. Okay, so if you, if it's your first time on the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe very right. importantly. And yes, today from the title, we're just gonna be talking about yeah. dating, uh, you know, being in a relationship here in China as a black girl or as a foreigner. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely something we can relate to. Yeah. So we're going to be giving you guys our experience yeah. and what it's like even though i'm married now and yeah. i'm out of the dating scene yeah. but before i was married it was a struggle okay i had my first year so we're going to be bringing the tea right. on that today so yeah stay tuned guys i think you should even explain give us some tips or oh, that's a video for another day how yes, to get yes, how yes. to get the wow how to, how to get him. it how to, how to get it <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much. I'm so happy that we are recording this video again. Please like, we should not wait for other two years again to, so that yeah, we record another one. I know, right? But yeah, so happy to be here. My name is Rose. I mean, my channel is Rose She Weaver. Yes. So hopefully you guys can go and follow as well. But yeah, today we're talking about dating in China and my experience. I can just start off like I've been in China for almost like going to eight years now. It has been wow. a long time. Hmm. So the dating. Hmm. <laughs> Has been a struggle. Mm. One uh. word to describe is definitely ghetto. <laughs> ghetto. ghetto. Not that ghetto in Africa. I don't know. How do they call it in your language? Like ghetto. Yes, it's ghetto. It's ghetto. ghetto. It's ghetto, people. It's ghetto. Okay. Yeah, like it, it is one. I think it's it's one of a kind. If you are abroad, it's not the same as you are. You know, you are in your local. You are. You can really maneuver. You can see. Okay, I'm eyeing that guy. I'm eyeing that guy. In China, for me, it would be ghetto because. One, there's no specific person that you'll be eyeing because everyone should be maybe already taken. You guys, <laughs> okay. I mean, like she's she's already married, so <laughs> so it's, it's uh -huh. difficult, yeah, to to be saying, okay, I'm eyeing this person. Maybe by the time you're even going to eye the certain guy, he was the, he's already yeah. dated your friend. <laughs> By the way, guys, do you believe in like if if, if your friend break up with a person, can you can you date them? Yeah, like is it no, okay? Is it okay, it okay to swoop in? Swoop in, like you know what I mean. So you end up now like going around the circle of dating the same people. Yeah. I'm definitely talking from experience. I've experienced that, like dating a person of a person that I knew dated a person a person that I knew. Oh. In fact, we worship together. Okay, I'm saying so too much, but honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly it was just so not easy to okay. like date that specific person yeah so you end up dating in the same circle if okay. going around and i think opportunity to really meet the right people i think you're so lucky to meet the right person because for other people not so many yeah. and also maybe us ladies we don't really put ourselves and we also have the mentality of saying, oh, I don't want to date from another country. Yeah. You want to go back to your own yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely there. By the way, so when I came to China, I'm like, uh, first, I was long distance, long distance, Namibia, Namibia. And oh, then I said, okay, okay, now I'm targeting Namibia, Namibia. Now, I mean, we could date any person. Yeah, we could go anywhere, <laughs> you could anywhere, anywhere in the world. You know? Yeah, so it, it's... You, you limit yourself you, yeah. you you don't there's not so many opportunities yeah yeah i yeah i, I, yeah. Yeah, I actually understand yeah. that because like the limitation mm -hmm. it's something that is very very real i mean if you are in africa or if you're in your country it's like like a truckload of yeah. men that's just calling you and following you all around <laughs> but here in china it's as if okay 
in your vicinity or in your city yeah. you might just know a handful of guys that are from the same country as yourself and if you're someone who is maybe not open to you know dating outside your yeah. your country or your your like outside africa if yeah. you're an african it's going to be very limiting and you know first of all if you're checking you have to check the person's personality yeah. check if they're a good person so it's just like you might see a good person that you like their personality and they are from Madagascar <laughs> <laughs> and then the Nigerian guys around you are yeah. just scolo. <laughs> In fact, it's true now. It's, it's true. true. <laughs> you know, I can I can definitely relate to that because when I also first got to China, I mean, yeah, yeah I was in a long distance relationship from yeah. back at home, yeah. but that didn't end up. Yeah. That didn't work out. Was, yeah. And yeah, eventually when I was when I I, I wanted to go out there into the dating. Yeah. Huh, it was a struggle, <laughs> my girl. And especially, you know, then like especially in WeChat groups, right? Yeah. There was a time I I was I was like I asked people to add me to some WeChat groups yeah. of like Nigerians in China and like Igbo people in China. Igbo people is like my tribe yeah, yeah, in Nigeria. I, yeah. mm -hmm. And I, 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 when I got added to the group, you know how these guys would just go to your DP and view your uh -huh. picture and they're adding you up and I'm just like, okay, what's happening? That's how all of them added me up. Adding you up like this. The next thing is, I'm in Guangzhou, come and visit me. <laughs> and then like, it's in Guangzhou. And it's close you to see you, those like, Guangzhou guys? Yeah. Story for another, another day. day. And, and it's just like, okay, when, when a person like maybe the guy is Igbo, yeah. he adds me up, I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm, intre I'm actually interested, you know? like, okay, this is a guy from where I'm, I'm from. from, something can actually happen, yeah. and the guy is misyanning, like, he's in two seconds, he's, <laughs> you're already cancelling him, Cancel. he's so frustrated, <laughs> I'm just like, okay, is this how we're going to find Mr. Right? Because all the people that are obviously in my DM are Mr. Wrong. Right, Mr. Wrong. <laughs> So I mean, fighting Mr. Struggle. Right on WeChat is another struggle, right? <laughs> because you guys will be interacting socially on Wech like WeChat. That's yeah. like Facebook of, of yeah, China, of right? China, yeah. So you interacting there and you're trying to show your best, like, hey, me, I'm knowledgeable. I'm able to uh, articulate I like this. Uh, I can be part of discussion. Now the next uh, thing, uh, he's going to your DM. He's not even talking sense. He's talking about, come and visit me. I'm visit you, you to do what? First of all, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, I don't know. Yeah. Like, okay, uh, come and visit me. I'll, I'll pay your hotel i'll do this i'll do that i'm just like what do people do in hotel please tell us uh, please explain <laughs> <laughs> yeah the dating is i think it's very it's difficult but if you go in with openness openness you know yeah. the problem is our background where we are coming from our parents are forcing not for not forcing but yeah. you can see they want you at least yeah uh, so please i hope you come back someone home. yeah home. if it is and then i keep on telling my parents like you know what me i i, I you people should just be prepared if i bring now chinese <laughs> by the way i mean how are the dating scene yeah, of chinese it's another I know, topic right, right? yeah uh, You've obviously been in China for like yeah. eight years, eight mm -hmm. years. I've just been in China for two less than two years yeah, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you have a myriad of experience. Girl, have you ever dated That's like high. a Chinese or mm. maybe someone not African out of the African race? Someone with like a white Oh skin? yeah, different race. Yeah. Oh, uh, not really. Okay, okay, I've had experience. Yeah, I've had experience of saying there was a time that I was even frustrated and like, okay, I'm done with Africans and I'm like, let's now try. <laughs> let's, let's try, try another race. Another race. <laughs> because our African brothers, do they really know the woman? <laughs> yeah, but I had experience yeah, with a Chinese person. Uh, oh. Not really, it didn't really go in deep, but we're just trying to casually get to know each other and stuff like that. But I think from his side, even from my side, I, I already had a perspective. I just wanted to like now to play, like mm. because now of experiencing African brothers and they're just not bringing the right context on the table. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> let me try Chinese. Yeah, another yeah. fun. So I was just like, okay, let's. But for them, they are very serious. They want things to be like right. But for me, I wanted to play. So I'm like, okay, fine. Since you are, you don't want to play, it's fine. You can just go. So, but you still chat with that specific Chinese friend of mine. Okay. But he was a good person as well. And the only thing is of course international relationship right yeah. i think being coming from a chinese perspective and an african person i think it, it takes a lot yeah. a lot of two people to bring it together and make it work yeah but 
Now, in yeah, overall, I think it's also difficult to date a Chinese person, right? Because as an African, right? As an African, yeah. Because first, the, the stigma is already there that even their own family, they want them. even their own people want their family wants their own girls yeah. to date them. So yeah. it's kind of just like that. But to say if it can work, I believe it can work. Nowadays, for me, where I am, like you say, if it, love is just love, right? Yeah. As long as you understand each other with your person and you guys are moving forward in the same direction and maybe share the same value. You, then it's okay you know yeah. as, as, as long as the person make you happy and you, you you really can see now everything is possible you you have seen your aunties maybe dating people from mm. they used to be like dating from the north dating from yeah. the south now it's dating from another, another country, country. Yeah, yeah so yes i've tried different ways which obviously didn't work up to, up mm. to now but it, it is also sweet it's mm -hmm. something that someone can go with yeah okay yeah so um you know like like you said mm -hmm. now I, i've actually seen or heard about a couple of people yeah. african who dated chinese i know for some of them it was just cruise yeah uh, basically yeah. like you said some of them they knew nothing serious was going to come, come out of out, it yeah. but you guys the truth is that the, there's, there's a truth actually about yeah. chinese men yeah it, like chinese men are, are just sweet so somehow Chinese men, it, that's just the truth. I, Chinese men are very too. sweet. When you see Chinese couples, like you see the way the man cares for the woman, yeah. you see the way the man takes care of the women, Chinese yeah. men can be sweet. Even though that might be owing to the fact that, you know, in China, the ratio of men to women yeah. is like a lot. Yeah. There are like lots of men and they're like very few women. So for any Chinese guy who manages to find a girlfriend or a wife, yes. he practically <coughs> worships her, okay? Definitely. Because just do anyhow. She'll divorce you and she'll get married the next year, like the next week. The next because week. <laughs> Because there are like thousands of men waiting. Waiting in so, the life. <laughs> yes. But I feel like somehow that makes them really cherish their wives. So yeah. for some of our African girls, I think that's like endearing and yeah. they just want to try and then they go out with these Chinese guys even though they, are, they don't really plan to end up you know with Chinese, people. with Chinese people I mean yeah. when I first got to China like some of my aunts were yeah. like whatever like maybe when I take a picture with a Chinese yeah. and I post on my moment they're like anything you do don't bring a Chinese man <laughs> back home <laughs> That's what my don't even think about saying. I'm just like okay calm down it's just a picture <laughs> I, I don't even know this guy we just met somewhere and I just took a picture so and they're like anything you're saying but I'm just like do you know if people can actually realize that okay marriage is actually in our relationships is not really about okay dating someone you know or yeah. it's just about someone you click with or someone yeah. your spirit resonates with and I feel like that's like the most important thing yeah. honestly for me my friends know this I say this all the time I'm like I don't have any boundaries yeah. like if I fall in love with a Chinese person yeah. be sure I'm gonna bring them home <laughs> be sure yeah. it's just that I don't okay okay God's plan actually God was taking me somewhere else yeah. but personally my friends knew that I wasn't someone although I don't know maybe it, it came down to it I don't know if I would have even to do yeah, it like actually like, marry yeah, Chinese honestly for me uh, if it come down to that yeah. I could actually now do that because okay. I think with experience i'm just saying that we want to put ourselves in a box sometimes yeah yeah i'm just an open person right now and to say if it has to come to that yeah it can happen as long as honestly the person brings me peace of mind yeah right if, if nothing else and, yeah. and i actually like international relation culture a relationship yeah. because i feel it's one it's step really ahead interesting i mean right? it's one step ahead because in one First of all, mm. like the value that it brings, like yeah. the value that it brings yes, and all that. Yes, I mean, that's true. dude, like if you're married, for me, I look at people like African marrying European or mm. marrying. I'm like, hey, that is also a securing of a way to secure the bag. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's like, like you like, the secure bag. the bag also, you know, in a way like that. Yes. Yeah, but we're not saying we are not advocating for girls to go and marry uh, mm. different people because of, of, of securing bag yeah. or running after people's properties and things yeah. like that. But it, it's it, society is just like that yeah not not we are not all meant for the same things and we are all not going exactly. to get the same opportunity exactly. so if you see your opportunity in front a chinese man is really really caring yes. so if you see a chinese man asking you out why not sister girl yeah yeah but yeah okay so um for like someone who is just coming to china a young girl like what advice would you give like when it comes to dating in china as yeah. a foreigner or as a black girl yeah I think for especially young women, we mm. get to be confused, like especially when you just get to China. Most mm. of us come to China when we're just coming from high school with little dating experience, right? Yeah. So when you are just entering the dating scene, I feel you take it slowly, take mm. it very slow 
and if you're a spiritual person a christian you really need to pray about these things and yeah. try to find about quality in yourself first before you even want to allow other people in mm. your life slowness pray about it write it down you should tell yourself like you need also to encourage yourself to love yourself more first yeah. before you really go mm -hmm. on to dating another person mm -hmm. because we come with the baggage of wanting people to love us yeah i think that's what put us in the hole of actually suffer yeah. because we now find this man who doesn't know how to treat you right and uh like he's even asking for your money to, to do everything i mean like as in like that type of thing <laughs> like you can really get to a place where you are suffering because of another a person right, in a relationship yeah. so just take it slowly pray about it love yourself more take care of yourself yeah. acknowledge and cherish yourself and then when you do that you can now move forward yeah, yeah because uh if you just rush into want, wanting people to love you that's when you really get a lot of heartbreak because you know when, when mm -hmm. it comes to expectation you also get, you get disappointed yeah. equally so yeah that's that's I, what i would say yeah i think i can really mm -hmm. um resonate with what you said concerning yeah. you know just like when you get here you just take it slow yeah and i think the reason most of us um most of us as young people yeah. we get here and then we just want to start dating is because yeah. the truth is that when you come to china or you leave your home country it's very lonely in china yeah it gets very lonely when you come here as a person it's like you don't have your family yeah. you don't have your friends that you've grown up with your whole life mm. so somehow there's just that that loneliness mm. causes you to want to you know find someone, find someone to yeah. attach yourself to or someone who can just fill that void mm. because there's definitely a void that leaving your country yeah. or wherever you've been your whole life to come to a foreign place mm. creates yeah. okay so but i think like you said it's mm -hmm. some it's not a void that you must necessarily feel with a relationship or with a person yeah you can actually just make friends yeah like friends of the same sex if, if you're a spiritual person you yeah. can go to church yeah. you can get engaged with you know church activities and church things because my dears this loneliness is gonna mess you up yeah okay like it really does it's so. really gonna mess you up you find yourself in situations and with mm. people that have no business yeah. in your life yeah. and at the end of the day you, you, you just get broken and you know it's like from one relationship to the to other another, and yeah. babe do you know that in this china exactly exactly like in a city yeah for like let's say for example for a girl yeah. who would just go on dating different people, people. everybody knows it's true. Okay, there's nothing you're doing that is that going on seen. Okay, <laughs> I'm, you know, like, I'm, like I'm telling you. People will know yeah. about everything. I'm telling you. Everybody knows. Like, like I said, the guys, the guys, yes, the will, guys tell each you, other. You know, these guys used to gossip, right? <laughs> they will gossip you, as in they will sell you for five cobbles. Yeah. I was telling my husband the other day yeah. because I actually heard of somebody yeah. whose this was apparently going around, <laughs> yeah. and I told my husband, babe, imagine I had been up to some things <laughs> in this Nigerian before. You, you met me or before we got married yeah you you never be able to talk where your fellow yeah. guys are they'll be like mm, oh, I really yeah, this I one really and his wife. <laughs> so you can imagine it's, it's really yeah. something that is not even good for, for your own personality yeah, so like you said just really take it slow yeah take it slow but also be open right mm. because life is just not to say you will not just be it will never be perfect in a way yeah uh, hang out with people but i think when you put your stand up standards so high and yeah. really value yeah, that, who you are mm. then whether it's the right thing comes in front of you you will you see, see it. when you, you see the wrong thing you also know it yeah to get yeah i think that's just the bottom line too, yeah. so slowly but still be very um be, be open because it's an international place yeah this is your new home now you're not gonna find any perfect other place you yeah. know so yeah yeah that's true yeah, so. that's true it's just uh, open your eyes yes to see to see you know what you need to see or what yeah. what you need yes. in your life yes open those eyes because uh sometimes also girls i feel like we tend to look at we look at something that is good but we don't appreciate it because exactly. we don't appreciate ourselves first yeah you know when something is good is coming to you and wanting you but yeah. you are like ah this one is wanting me, me, me yeah. this because you didn't value yourself yeah. Best. Yeah. then now you are not you are not valuing the person who is loving yeah. you back when the person is doing it the right thing treating you right yeah that's exactly. what we want that's what you we want, want someone yeah. who just gave exactly. you peace of peace right exactly. we don't want anything else and girls we want to we we have so many things on our head building up and be like hey i want this perfect what this no sometimes there's no perfection yeah it, it's it's really comes down to you knowing your value like yeah. is this person bringing you that value in your life yeah don't just do things because of sleeping around or doing things because those things so, some people end. some people just mm. even want to like experiment with people uh -huh. of, of other races 
dating. Yes. Hey, yeah. Like I know some people that they just want to date a, a white guy, yes. they want to date a Chinese, Chinese, they want to. What are you using all those experiences for? Yeah, please? yeah. You just end up living pieces of yourself in yeah, different, in places, different and places, and it's not so good yeah. sometimes. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's wrap up this video. I think yeah. it's getting really long. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like from our experiences, the little we can say about yeah. dating here yeah. in China as black girls. And yeah, we already said it all like yeah. concerning like if you want to, you know, come into the dating space, yeah. just, you know, just take our advice, yeah. okay? It's to help you, to yeah. save you from some of the things yeah. we went through yeah. ourselves, okay? But yeah, so yeah, that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys know Rose Shueva. Her channel is gonna be in the description. You guys go thank check you. her out. She's the vibe. Aww. You're gonna love her, I'm sure. Aww, and you. yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye guys. Goodbye. <laughs>